Hello and welcome to a new vlog. So today I just arrived in New Farm Park and today I thought I'm going to showcase a few of my favorite spots in Brisbane. And New Farm Park is one of them, especially now because it's the season of those purple trees and they're everywhere. But now it's not only green, it's purple everywhere as well. And now I'm just going to show you my favorite views from New Farm Park and then We'll probably take the ferry into the city and I'll show you more of my favorite spots. So last time I've been in New Farm Park, the flowers weren't blooming yet. So it was so pretty to see all of them blooming and the colors were so beautiful. And it just makes you happy to look at all the different colors of the flowers. Here you can see the beautiful view of Brisbane CBD from New Farm Park and just in the front you see what New Farm Park is really famous for, for the Rose Paddock Gardens and I also filmed a few close-ups of all the different roses they have, like every colour and they look so beautiful. So after I've been around New Farm Park, I took the ferry to go to the city centre. I think it's one of my favourite ways to commute if you're not in a rush, because it does take a longer time, but it's just really peaceful. And as you can see, you can see the buildings go by and everyone seems to be happy on the boat as well. So this is Brisbane's most iconic bridge, Story Bridge, and just nearby is a really nice bar called Felons. Everyone will know it when they're from Brisbane. And I really like going there in the afternoon and also in the evening. After that I went to Anzac Square, this is where the central station is and also one of my favorite spots to eat, it's called Vegirama and they have lots of vegan food as well. After I got a smoothie there I was heading towards the botanical gardens and came across Queen Street Mall and I also filmed the iconic meetup spot in Brisbane which is the Hungry Jacks. the city center and I bought new dresses there in this bag. I am back at the botanical gardens. It doesn't matter how often I'm, I've been here already. It doesn't get boring. It's so beautiful. So let me show you around. Mm -hmm. 
so I was just sitting in the botanical gardens because my new film got developed and I had a look at the pictures and most of them <laughs> turned out great. A few of them were too dark. I really have to use the flash more often. <laughs> It's so quiet here at this part of the Botanic Gardens. The river's just here. I'm heading towards the South Bank now. I'm walking there. No one's here. I'm the only person. I'm currently crossing the bridge from the Botanic Gardens to South Bank and it's one of my favorite bridges to cross since it's a pedestrian only bridge and bikes can go here too and sometimes I see people here rollerblading I also bought rollerblades that should arrive next week and I'm so excited to try it out in Brisbane So I made it to South Bank and I mean how can you not love walking around here? It's so pretty with the flowers as well, it's sunny, the beach is over there, it's I think probably my number one place to be in Bristol, <laughs> especially if it's sunny. So I don't know how it looked like later in the vlog but it's definitely nothing you should do in one day because I'm getting quite tired and I also don't uh, only show you the city center I'm now heading towards West End and then heading back to the city and show you Roma Street Park so I mostly have good things to say about Brisbane but due to the Olympics in 2030, 2032 I think Brisbane really wants to become a more popular place. That's why we have construction works everywhere. Uh, so you, if you live in the city, you basically can't avoid construction works and noises. Okay, so I want you to hear how loud it actually is. I don't know if you can hear me. If not, I'm gonna dub over it. But yeah, that's the construction works. So I almost made it to the main part of West End. I really love West End. It is a bit more small town, but they're building lots of more tall buildings now, which is also, people don't like that. And there is so much vegan food. I think the most vegan food I eat is in West End. I definitely recommend going to West End and have a look around because they have lots of op shops, vegan food, and it's a bit of a different vibe from the rest of the city. So I definitely recommend it. I try to capture the vibe of the western area. You have lots of small shops and independent shops, vintage stores and the vibe in general is a bit more low-key.
there are plenty of bookshops as well and I really love this one and just the architecture is really different even the dentist looks so cute By the time I was heading to Roma Street Park, I was so tired already so I took the train. You could walk it as well, but the train just takes a minute basically to get there. Roma Street Park is the place to be to find lots of lizards, so if you ever want to show someone the Queensland locals, I recommend going here. And also for the flowers, they really put a lot of effort into the flower designs and they put them there so neatly, it's really beautiful. Okay, so I made it to the Roma Street Parklands now and I'm just having a break because I walked already 8k today. So if someone would ask me, like a tourist, about is there any specific sites I should see in Brisbane or landmarks, I would just tell them the same things that you show in this vlog. Look at the parklands, look at parks, go into cafes, have a snack, have dinner. I feel like Brisbane is more about nature, it's more about hanging out with friends, more about living and enjoying and relaxing and i think this is what makes Brisbane so special thank you for watching 